All right, so I got my four 18 inch subwoofers and things are heavy, over 70 pounds each. About to show you these monsters in a minute, give you a full rundown on this brand that I went with, as well as the type of subwoofer and specs real quick. Also, I'm gonna be able to show you inside my build, get it installed and do the subwoofer flex test all in this video. So I'm really excited to be able to do this. This is gonna be fun. inch screws, a piece of wood platform actually holding it down. Get it on the ground level. Let's get this baby out. Raw footage, no edit. Appreciate everybody watching as well. Stay tuned for more build update videos. I'll be doing a lot more, mainly on the second channel, Jacob File 2, link in the description. But main channel update today. Let's get this thing out. Ooh. Oh. There we go. First one of four. Phi. So I got four of the Phi Neo 4.7 18s with a mega coil. Rated at 3,500 watts RMS conservative. And I'll give you all the specs in a minute, but we we'll go ahead and get at least two of these babies out so y'all can kind of see how nice these are. Those are the subs I decided to go with. And I'll be showing you the power plan soon, get them installed and everything else I mentioned. Also get them turned on for the first time. All in this video, really excited, but really nice sub and it's heavy. Give a little shot real quick of it. So I just got them all unboxed here real quick. Really nice subwoofers. I really like them. They're Neos, uh, four inch voice curls. I'll give you all the rundown in a second before. And just thank y'all for watching. Be sure to give it a like and stay tuned for this video. It's gonna be really exciting to get these subs installed and test them out on my amplifier today. And shout out to Phi Cardio. If you wanna see more details on the subs, links in the description, phicardio.com. And I'll be sure to put their Facebook and Instagram as well. And this is only one of the subwoofer lines, the four inch voice curls. They also offer three inch voice coils and Neos, as well as they have some other options with ferrite subs. But really nice subwoofer. Let's go ahead and dig in and kind of see some of the specs on it and tell you kind of what the goals are I have with my build. All right, so I moved the camera right here. So I had a couple of different options for ideas. I got some votes on and some suggestions in the last video. And I ended up going back with what brand I knew before. That was uh, went really well for my previous build with some 15s and this time I'm gonna be trying out the 18s. But I really appreciate everybody's suggestions, Kaid, uh, really nice feedback, very kind feedback to give me ideas for different options and brands. Uh, these are the ones I ended up going with. So let's go ahead and dig in real quick. A little bit more close up of the subs before I get them installed and test it on power in this video. So make sure I got them staged right so y'all can kind of see, get them zoomed in a little bit. Really nice subwoofers. Uh, I guess this is the Neo portion of it. These are made in USA at the Phi Factory. It came from Las Vegas. They were right, weighed at right over 70 pounds. So these are the 4.7s, uh, four inch voice coil. If you actually look in here, you can see that I got the Omega coil as well. They're rated at 3,500 watts RMS. And I ended up wanting to go with this subwoofer because not just because of the brand loyalty of the subwoofer brand that I ran in the past, but I also like that they're made in the USA. They're custom made and they will suit the power application that I have as well as, hey, these subwoofers are fourth order friendly. So, and it has a four inch voice coil rated over 3000 watts RMS. Pretty much everything I wanted to meet. And, and it's of course a bonus that I've ran five before. So that's why I kind of pretty much chose these subs and I'm happy with it. So this is an H in it sub. They also come in 12s and 15s. They don't offer 10s and five anymore. And they did have a 21 inch, but I think they're coming later this year. And of course, this is just talking about the Neos. So some of the little quick parameters on here, this is a 33 millimeter or no, 34 millimeter is the X max on these. I actually got the uh, extra stiff spider. So I have either a five or a six spider. The reason I did that is to raise my FS a little bit, a little bit more power handling as well as, hey, I want them to be as beefy as possible. So I'm actually pressing down and it will hardly move at all, which is really impressive here. So now let's get underneath here. You can see a shot. 
that's how the bottom of the magnet looks. I really like the design. It used to be an open-end metal magnet a couple years ago, and they changed it up. It looks like they have now like a rubbery casing cover. I don't know, but really nice on that as well. So be sure to give it a like if you like this kind of content. Let me know what you think about it as well. Really excited to see how these do. And I'll show you the power in a second for what they're running. There's a couple more quick specs on here. I'm actually looking on the phone, so that way y'all can actually check out links in the description if you want to know more about the subwoofer. But it has 144 tensile council leads, an FEA optimized motor, 4-inch diameter, 4-layer coil. Uh, it also has Neil magnets and 10-inch uh, progressive spiders, depending on what option you go with between 3 and 6. I went with the 5 or 6. Water jet machined in Phi, 33 millimeter plus X max. A 3-stage inductance cooling option, so I actually went with the 3-stage cooling on this that uh, I'm not gonna explain all that. You have to look on the website, but basically it will give a little bit better cooling since this is gonna be in a sealed section of my fourth order. I'll show you in a second when I get them installed. But uh, really nice. If y'all have any questions, check out the link in the description. And shout out once again to Phi. Really nice subs. And uh, really excited to see, and I'll show you all the power and explain to you my goals on this system. So once again, shout out to everybody watching and being subscribed. Check out the second channel, Jacob Vile 2. I'll be posting a lot more updates on this as well. So really excited to see where this goes. So now that I got y'all a little shot of the subs, if y'all have any other questions, let me know. I'm ready to get these things installed. I'm excited to see how they sound on low power as well as the results for when I get full power on them. So I'm going into my vehicle real quick before I get them installed so anybody new watching can kind of see the concept of the enclosure for this. So it's a 5 to 1 ratio fourth order. It's right at 2.8 sealed after the motors are in the sealed section and then ported around 55, 56 cubes for the ported section. And uh, my port area and my seat will be here so my port's opened up right now. I actually got my seat out so I can get in here. I got my wood screws that will be holding this down. They go through a double baffle. I've never had problems in the past. There's always a more optimal ways, but that's how I'm going to be mounting them. And uh, this is awesome. Looking forward to it. Anybody that ever gets their new subs, you know how excited you are. And I got some 8-gauge speakers going into those push terminals. I wanted push terminals this time instead of the actual uh, ring mounts. And because I like to be able to just have no resistant air direct wire hookup. So now let's go look at the back. So here at the back, I got a single 8,000 watt amp right now. Those subwoofers are dual two up there. So I'm going to be able to wire all four of them to one ohm on a one ohm stable Stetson 8,000 watt amp at start. My ultimate goal is probably going to be running either two big amps at half ohm Korean or four amps like this at one ohm each, one per sub. And of course, give me plenty of headroom or one big amp at one ohm. So for right now, just to get them broken in and just to tease the subs, I'm going to be running a single 8,000 watt amp. This amp right here. And I have 45 amp hours of lithium I'm going to be upgrading. And uh, of course, I'll be going to over 100 amp hours of lithium. You'll see an updated video on that soon. And that's all it has for power right now. So right now, just a single amp. Eventually, either two, four, or one big amp. I'm not sure. Maybe some ideas or suggestions. Let me know in the comments. That's how the power is looking. Now let's go get these babies installed. All right, so I'm going to get the first one installed. Being lucky that I can actually walk into my enclosure with my seat out. It's very easy more to get in than with somebody that has like say a single sub and you have to fight it. Subwoofers are very heavy uh, but see I'm doing this solo. The way I've always done it was actually get a couple of scrap pieces of blocks and put underneath of it to kind of balance out this, the weight. Uh, there's multiple different ways I'm sure to do it. Maybe y'all could give some suggestions too but this is how I've always done it. And I'm going to get all four of these suckers installed. And I'm mounting them in the actual ported section. The reason for is I like a bigger ratio and to optimize my space. And I also like to be as loud as possible. And all of those factor into being mounted in the sealed section, the motors. Uh, of course, I'm gonna lose cooling and I might not be as musical, but I'll be louder, uh, have better cone control, as well as my sealed section is a little big for the amount of power that might be going in these on full power. So be mounting them in the regular sealed section without shrinking it optimizes my space. So, and it's 2.8 sealed per sub. I think earlier I said that was total. That's not total, that's per sub. So see, I kind of got it level to where I can almost slide it back. So let me go ahead and get them installed.
All right, so I got the first one installed. Just wanted to show y'all how it looked inside real quick. So you can kind of see, I got about an inch and a quarter from the motor in the back, but being that it's cooling from in the Neo and the motor inside on the sides too, it wouldn't be a problem with 10 gauge or eight gauge wire on the push terminals installed there. So that's how it looks in the inside. Well, now let's get the other three mounted and wired up. All right, so I just got all four of them installed. No cone punctures, a lot of sweat. And now I'm gonna go check to make sure it's all wired up correctly in the back down to one ohm. And let's get these subwoofers on a flex test. We'll play some low frequencies and high frequencies to see how it does. And uh, stay tuned for more videos on the second channel, Jacob Isle 2, link in the description, as well as once again, thank you, Phi Cardio, great subwoofers. Uh, everybody check out their uh, website if you wanna see more details on it. Really looking forward to seeing the output these things put out, especially on just this single 8,000 watt amp to start with. And of course, these things are very, very solid, extra spiders and all, as I talked about earlier. So we will see how they sound and get some flex and uh, subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next one after this as well for more build updates to come. So you gotta stay tuned. Okay, so I got it over here. I just got the positive and negative confirmed. It is at 1.1 ohm, so right on one ohm, uh, depending on the temperature and course a little bit of deviation in the meter but one ohm exact so how i did this i didn't explain it but i have in previous videos done a whole build playlist of over eight videos showing you how i got this whole build built uh, you have to check out the my build playlist from last year on the channel playlist if you want to see all that but anyway i have a single wire for every coil so positive and negatives positives are on the top and act like these four subs so left right right left you know all of that and there's four coils positive and negative for each coil. Sorry, two coils, one on each side. So that's how I have it all wired up and then sealed in here. And then I just wired up the way I want it like this. And it works from there. So if I ever do decide to go with two amps or four amps, or if I want to change the impedance, I can just do the wiring here. And of course there's switches I could do too, but this is the cheap, easy way it works for me. And uh, yep, so let's go ahead and do this flex test. Be sure to put a like, here we go. All right, so I just got the vehicle on with the amp hooked up with uh, speakers, as you just saw. So let's go ahead and get my Bluetooth going and let's try a low note and then a high note. And we'll see how it does on music. This is an 8,000 watt amp at one ohm. Let's see how it sounds. So we'll start off with 24 Hertz. We'll do 24 Hertz first. So I got sub subsonic suicide, tw 24 hertz. Let's see.
subs are barely moving and uh yeah i haven't tuned anything but windy of course with the window uh sealed on the driver passenger side and then the door open on this side so now let's go ahead and play a higher frequency and let's see how it does stay tuned there's gonna be a lot more build update videos of course of this build as we go along on the second channel jack of vile 2. it's a lot easier with that door shut for loading and i'll stand right at the port <laughs> So that was a 48 to 50 hertz range frequency start tone. I built this enclosure to be around the high 40 hertz range to be really peaky. And it definitely, just for that single amp, would be blocking this port, help me load right because of the seats usually here. So I'm really excited to see how it does when I get some power on it. And of course, I do some break-ins and tests. A lot more to come. Thank you all for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. And thank you all for watching all my daily cardio videos. I appreciate it. I couldn't do it without y'all support. So thanks, everybody. Subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. And shout out to Fi. Check out their site. Thank you for watching, everybody, as well as thank you, channel supporters. If you want to become a channel supporter, check out the links in the description to show support, as well as thank you, everybody, for supporting the channel. Also, if you haven't already, use discount code JACOBVILE when you shop at Sky High Cardio, Explicit Audio, and others. And also, if you haven't already, check me out. I am on social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, as you are seeing here. Go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. And subscribe. Stay tuned for more daily videos, and I'll see you all in the next one.